Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today I'm bringing you some quick info that I believe will be very, very useful to a lot of you guys out there. The Stalker Acolytes will be coming out of hiding tomorrow, August 7th, and they will be hanging around for a while. Now these guys are going to be like mini bosses but with Warframe abilities. They can sometimes be difficult for some people and sometimes they can be fairly easy for a lot. So the reason for this video, however, is going to be to help you understand who drops worth and how you are supposed to tackle these situations. This guys drop some of the rarest and most powerful mods within the game. It could be for your rifle, your shotgun, your secondary, or your melee weapon. They are very powerful mods. And even if you don't need these mods, I will advise and suggest that you go ahead and farm them because a lot of these mods will go for a hefty price in the market. And remember, and specifically when we're talking about melee, melee 3.0 is coming very soon. So any melee mods that you can get your hands on, any of these acolyte melee mods, you need to get on it as soon as possible. Even if it is a status based mod, you have to get on those mods as soon as you can. Now I have these drops on the screen so you know which acolyte drops which mods and I will also have them in the community tab for future viewing as well. Now most of you will likely be going for the Argon Skull, Blood Rush, Laser Sight or mostly like most of the people within the community, you will be going for Maiming Strike and maybe a little bit of a buddy count. But for the best chance at winning the market race, I will advise you to farm whatever acolyte pops up on your radar. It doesn't matter who it is, just go for it, farm them, run in, run out, and you're done. This will ensure that you will get your hands on something and not just stick to a particular mod set. One man's trash, remember, is also going to be another man's treasure. Now, the one that will probably die quicker is going to be the Violence Acolyte because that one will drop a lot of your most rarest and most desired mod. So, if Violence pops up on your screen, then I will give you a great excuse to ditch everything else and farm Violence for those rare and highly demanded mod. But other than that, go for whatever you see pop up in that screen. So, how do you farm effectively? I will advise you that you queue up with your group of friends or a team that has a fast CC slash DPS frames. Your goal will be to push for a fast TTK which is going to be time to kill. You want to run in, kill it real quickly and run out. A lot of these missions will have different objectives as well, so you want to be able to do that really quick. If you ever played the Kuva Flood or Kuva Capture missions, then this will be a little bit similar, but instead of Kuva, it will be the Stalker Acolyte. Get your crew together and just stare at that solo chart notification every single time, and if all else fails and you end up not getting the mods that you want, remember, the final one is going to be Misery, and Misery also has a chance of dropping every single mod, but he has a very low probability, so make sure you farm anything that pops up. That is why it's very important. But with that said, hope you guys find this video informative, and if you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel for more Warframe. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.